this issue isn't going to go away, but unfortunately our time with you is. So, Tom Wall, thank you very much for being our part of our program. Gail Rebus, I'm sure thank we'll you. hear from you down the road, right? Very much. Okay. Thank you, Peter. <laughs> All right, thanks. Okay, back to you, Anne. Thanks, Peter. His resume reads like a laundry list of major motion pictures released these years. Maria Hall Brown tells us the storyboards by Carl Aldana are the drawings upon which many good movie effects are based. Take it, you don't, you'll die. Before you see it on the screen, Carl Aldana brings the words better to life. Before Clint Eastwood climbed a wall to chase down John Malkovich in the line of fire. Before one frame of film was shot for, honey, I blew up the kid. It was storyboard artist Aldana who created a visual blueprint for the filmmaking team to win. An artist and professor by choice, the world of storyboarding chose Carl. I backed in. I uh, was teaching uh, fine art at, at uh, Fullerton and at Santa Monica Colleges part-time. And guys that I'd gone to art school with made Star Wars. They were the special effects guys in Star Wars. And they gave me a job because I worked for them. Everybody in the industry wanted to hire me once they laid me off. <laughs> So I learned, I learned uh, to do this on the job, and I was really lucky. It's a terrific job. Working closely with a director, Carl Aldon's storyboard that can serve several purposes. Sometimes it shows an optical effects house what the effect should be, like on the soon-to-be-released film Martial Law. Sometimes it helps the pre-production team understand the emotional vision of a film, and Paramount's The Butcher's Wife. And sometimes a storyboard can help get a film made. There's a picture... Uh, in the gallery, there's a set of paintings on the w facing wall as you enter that are a proposal for uh, TriStar Cylinders for a picture they want to do that's called Endurance. It's about Antarctica. It's about a, an exp exploration of Antarctica. Anyway, you can't do any shooting down there because the seas are high. There's nothing, uh, there's nothing down there that you can survive. <laughs> so everything has to be a trick. Anyway, that, that I think is the most challenging picture I've ever been on in terms of trying to figure out how to, uh, how to achieve uh, the look that they need, which has to be like a National Geographic look. It has to be really authentic because the, the culprit in the movie, the bad guy, is the weather. You know, it's, it's itself. And uh, anyway, the problem is how to achieve that. And that's been the toughest one. I, I still don't know how they're going to do it. You can see Carl Aldana's work at the Golden West Fine Arts Gallery until February 27th. And some of the work here would be considered a sneak preview, like Disney's My Favorite Martian, which is right behind me. In Huntington Beach, I'm Maria Hall-Brown, Real Orange. You know, every movie has to start with somebody visualizing mm -hmm. where it's going to go, and he's the guy that gives that first thought to it all. What a neat job. Yeah. That would be fun. Yeah, well, me, you know, if yeah. only I had talent. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but you do, Peter. But, yeah, well, you know, some people debate that. <laughs> Look at Roger Not shaking us. his head over there. We don't he debate it at all talent. here. Yeah, you right. know, Carl actually turned down working on the Titanic storyboard so he could go to work in Sweden on Smilla's sense. And we understand that the storyboard exhibit has been so popular that it's going to be continued right. at the Golden West uh, Fine Arts Gallery through Tuesday, March the 3rd. So mm -hmm. move on down if you can. Yeah. Okay. All right.